Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is Chris, and I'm your host today. And in this one, everybody, we are going to be looking at something very cool. So this morning, I installed a caching disk on my NAS box, QNAP, as you can see. And so what I wanted to show y'all, yeah, I know y'all y'all are wondering, like, why does Windows look like that? Well, because I don't like Windows, so I changed it to make it look like Mac because I like Mac. So let's get right into this if you don't know the lord jesus christ reach out to me in the comments i'll be glad to pray for you or your family members whoever you need to be prayed for i will do it and let's just get right into it the purpose of having a caching disc so i had a pci express card and my nas has a pci express slot and it shows up there were no issues it's like i plugged it in and it was there it was literally that easy now i want to show y'all how to get to this uh to this section so if we go right here we go to these three bars we go to storage and snapshots okay once we go here then we're going to go to cache acceleration and you'll see right here it's going to show you so you have my four discs these are my four discs and these are uh seagate iron wolves i believe is what i bought four terabytes each and then i have this ssd that's a 500 gig uh in the me drive with a pci Express card so what we're going to do so we're going to go to cache acceleration and the purpose is just to make things a little quicker so we're going to go next so if you if you go back proof performance of read access so disk that are spinning disk it takes longer to access things if you can throw it on an nvme drive it'll be much much faster so let's do this see right here with the right cache the system writes incoming data to the SSD first and flushes it to regular storage later. So all the data you're writing to it goes directly to the NVMe and then it puts it on the regular storage later. So here it is. You can see it right here. And it just showed up. I didn't have to do anything. Read only, read write. We're going to do that. For a cache, for write cache, a protected RAID type 1, 5, 6, and 10 should be used to protect data and cache. For multiple SSDs, you should write 10 for the write. Okay, we're just going to click next. Uh, enter your, uh, the RAID type you have has no disk failure protection. Okay, so it's RAID 0 then. Uh, RAID type, oh, sh well, because it's a single disk. You can't have RAID on a single disk. So we're going to, and I have a couple more of these. So now, uh, enable SSD over provisioning. Yes, we'll do that. Uh, let's see. Let's do random I.O recommended for virtualization this right here this is the one we want because i do file serving serving that's what i do with this device uh let's see thin volume yep that sounds good to me select to enable sd cache deselect to yeah that sounds good new raid grip we're going to create it i understand okay there we go and so did it do something there we go there it is. So service, we're going to wait till all this loads. Come on. Oh, it's initializing. So that's how you actually add a SSD cache disk to a RAID to a QNAP bot. And I wanted to show you all this because I just did it this morning and I wanted to see what it would do. I mean, it's already fast. It's two and a half gig NICs, but I wanted to see if adding an SSD cache disk would make like some of the transfers faster, but I'm transferring already at like 2.8 meg or 280 meg. That's what I'm transferring at because I have a two and a half gig NIC, two and a half gig switch. So everything's running at two and a half gigs so i would highly recommend that too everybody if you don't know the lord jesus christ reach out to me in the comments i will be glad to, to uh pray for you or pray for your family and if you don't know him i will tell you why you do need him just reach out to me in the comments everybody if you got any questions leave those down in the comments and uh, i'll leave uh the qnap website in the description i'll leave that in there if you want to go check their stuff out they have some very cool stuff and everybody Oh, there it is. It's ready. So that took what about, uh, it took maybe what, like three minutes, maybe it's not bad. And everybody thank y'all for watching till next time. Peace.